Hello Legends. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you a very simple approach to doing dynamic call forwarding, dynamic call transfers for your AI callers. Uh, in this video, we're gonna be using an example with Retail AI and NAN. Um, and at a high level, we're just gonna be using basic function calls. So the, uh, the main function call we're doing is when we're speaking to the customer on the phone, we're gonna have a function call that's gonna hit up an N8N scenario. And the NAN scenario is going to tap into our, and for this example, it's just a Google sheet that has a roster of who's available when. Um, but you could actually tap into your workforce management tool, like Workday or Zendesk or HubSpot, and then return who is currently available. Um, but yeah, once we return everyone that's available for this day, we're basically filtering out and uh, we're returning the phone number that we're going to be escalating to back to retail AI. So let me show you how this works. Okay, so over in retail, We've got a couple of tools defined. So we've got a uh, get escalation support tool and get escalation sales tool. And these tools are basically just pointing out to the uh, NAN scenario. And you would have a scenario for sales, a scenario for support. And realistically, you could even have a scenario here or a tool here for like um, regional support. So maybe you want to have Spanish support or you want to maybe have um, different types of tech support. So maybe for people that are using pre-sales, post-sales or onboarding, whatever you want to do. You can split up all of your different types over here with having different tools. And before I show you the tool configuration, I'm just going to go across to the prompt. And this overall prompt is very, very basic. Um, but the important thing is that we're defining an escalation procedure. So we're basically saying, we're telling the AI that when the client or the customer is asking to speak with a human, we use the get escalation functions, which are the ones that we defined over here. And uh, we're just giving some guidelines for different escalation types for for sales inquiries, use the escal uh, sales escalation route. For support issues, use the uh, support escalation route or the tool call. Um, we could just add another one into here for different languages or different types of support or whatever we want to do. Um, and then after we return the phone number, because once again, uh, when we're actually hitting the tool call, we're hitting this NAN scenario, which is going across to this uh, Google Sheet, or it can go to, to our um, workforce management tool. And then it comes back into here and we're just pulling out that phone number and sending the phone number back to retail. So at that stage, we have the phone number and now we're gonna execute the transfer call function. So going back to these functions, if I go into transfer call, just to show you how this looks, this is the uh, built-in retail transfer call function. So it's already predefined with transfer call and transfer the call to its human agent. And we're using dynamic routing here. So I've chosen this option and I'm basically saying, cool, escalate the phone call. Um, to the number that was obtained from the get escalation function. So that's how we can do it dynamically. We have multiple different escalation types defined over here. Depending on the escalation type, we're gonna be using a different tool call. And that tool call is gonna give us access to different you know, rosters of support team, sales team, um, Spanish speaking team. And um, then we're executing that transfer call. So uh, I'm gonna demonstrate exactly how this works in retail so you can see it piece by piece. But let me go across to uh, NAN and quickly just show you here as well. So basically we've got um, three simple modules over here. We've got the webhook, which is gonna take the inbound request from our retail uh, tool call. Then we have this Google Sheets uh, call, which is just gonna return um, all of the, like basically all the results for our customer support roster. So we've got Bart, Sandhya, uh, Steph, and VG. And over here, we're basically saying, cool, here's the days of the week. Uh, Bart's uh, available for Saturday escalations. Sandhya is Monday to Wednesday. Uh, Steph is Thursday, Friday, VG is Sunday. Once again, you can kind of like build this out and basically have like, um, you know, maybe Bart's available for nine to five on Saturday and then five to 10 is uh, Sandhya. So you could build the, you can actually um, extend this out by hours. We've got a very basic by day here and I'm, I'm, I'm constantly pushing that same point, but you could even put it into like your, uh, yeah, workforce management tool to just basically bring out who is actively, like who is currently available. So it's super, super simple. Um, and then we're taking the results out of this Google Sheet, which is just a full pool of all the data. And we're pulling out, um, we're basically filtering out the phone number. So in our case over here, our input data was from that Google Sheet. And it's just all the people that are uh, in that roster. So we had Bart, Sandhya, Steph, and VG. So just these four people. And we have the X's denoted by the days that they're working. And yeah, we're basically just pulling out all those different cells. So the current response we have over here is the triple zero number which is the Australian number for emergency services, so don't call that. Um, and you can see over here, it's Bart triple zero, and it's today is Saturday, and actually I'm working on a Saturday, so that's why my number came up in the system. Now, if I just show you, for example, uh, so we're just filtering out by the day, 
um, actually meant to make that active and I X this out. So basically this line is uh, just using the current day of the week. We're converting it into a format that's gonna help us basically pull out and see uh, who's available on a day of the week. So I've just hard coded into here, pretending that it's Sunday, uh, just to demonstrate for you. And Sunday it is VG. So we should have a phone number returned, which is 789. So now if I go into here and I test the step, yep, we've got 789 because VG works on Sunday. So now you can get this phone number it's returned to our retail um, uh, AI agent. And the response of this is dynamically inserted into the transfer call function, uh, like we mentioned before. So over here. Now, uh, before I jump into the demo, because we basically have all the context that we need to see how this works. The last thing I wanna show you is just the configuration over here, which is for get escalation support. We're defining that this is the escalation phone number for the support human agent. We're pointing the URL to our N810 scenario. In this case, um, I'm just using the uh, test URL, but if you made this into production, you'd use the production URL and then you'd flick your thing onto active, which actually my one's active right now. Um, but yeah, that's, that's all the setting that we're doing here is just the URL for the API call that's gonna hit that NAN scenario. And then I've just got a very basic like customer experience thing here, which is let me just check who's available to take your call. And the same thing with the get escalation sales. So in this case, it's pointing to the exact same NAN scenario, but you can make it point to a different NAN scenario that interacts with a different system altogether. Um, but in my case, I just flip into this tab and you see here's all my sales agents. And we're using the very same basic, you know, who's available on which day. So we can actually escalate the number to them. Um, but again, you could plug it into your um, HubSpot CRM and you can pull out who's currently available, who's working, and who can I send this call to. Um, so let's actually give this a demo and just see how it works. So I'm going to be testing this out using the text version of this. So let's go, hi, how are you? And we're gonna be able to see what's actually going on in the background. So for example, it used the knowledge base retrieval here, but now I'm gonna say, I want to escalate to a, uh, to a customer support agent. And before I show this, let me just flick this on so it works, test workflow. Okay, it's open. And now I'm gonna send this and it's gonna fire off the get escalation support tool call. So you can see here, uh, it invoked this tool call, which is um, going across to our NAN scenario. The message that I said during that time is, let me just check who's available to take your call. And then the tool result is the 789 number. And that's because I left it hard coded as Sunday. So that's why it came out as 789. Um, so yeah, you would just make this a dynamic version. And then when we had the uh, transfer call, we had over here, cool, let's transfer the phone call. The transfer destination number was plus 789. So the transfer of the call was dynamically inserted into here to that plus 789 number. Um, and yeah, pretty much because we were not actually calling, the, defo the phone call wasn't transferred across. Um, but yeah, you guys can just try this in your own setup. I don't have enough phones next to me right now to actually call into this um, AI agent and have it call back another phone. Um, but this is the simplest way to do call forwarding. Uh, I'm actually building out another caller, which I'll probably have a video available for it for tomorrow. Um, and this is like the soup, like, I mean, getting full, like call forwarding in general is super important to a lot of people. Like if you have an AI caller, you want some way for people to be able to escalate it. And okay, if you can escalate it, why do you not want to like, like let's escalate it dynamically depending on which team needs to be involved or which person has to be put into the loop. So this is super cool. It just solves that problem of dynamic escalation. There's no complex coding. There's not like nothing like that uh, is super crazy going on here. It's just something um, incredibly, incredibly simple using tools that you're already using, um, pretty much no coding required. And this, this here was just created by chat GPT. Um, I just plugged it in and I said, Hey, I want to pull out, you know, this is, you know, this is what my uh, rostering looks like. I want to pull out who's currently available based on day. Um, and you could expand this to also include who's, who's currently available based on day and po like possibly, um, based on current time, or if you're directly plugging into your CRM, maybe not even having a filter, a filtering system like this. Maybe you can just filter out in the API call that you make to Zendesk or Workday or HubSpot or whatever you're using. Um, anyway, guys, hope you enjoy this. If you do like it, just like and subscribe to my channel. Would appreciate the support. And if you're building an AI caller and you want a hand building it out and have like a really robust call forwarding system, if you can't manage it yourself doing this, please reach out to me. I'll have my email in, in the description of this video. Okay, see ya.